What's up, Peach Patch? I've been kind of busy over the weekend doing me, but I'm back to get caught up on the episode. That lady got a husband, seven kids, and divorced her husband for the thousandth time or millionth time, however y'all want to look at it, Peach Patch. I'm just saying. So last week, Peach McIntyre went on to say how she was going to be divorcing her husband and how he was, she was finally seeing her value and she was tired of living in a toxic relationship with him. And she didn't feel safe to go to Tampa. And he kept going to Tampa, going against her, with her and her family, and signed with her family. And she felt like he was not supporting her. And she wanted a better life for her and her children. And she finally was just speaking up, saying how she was sick and tired. And she was going to be leaving that man and divorcing him. And that he had to be at her house back this Friday just passed. So I've not been able to catch up on the episode to today. So I caught up on episode... A thousand. That lady leaving her husband. And I'm going to replay back the video before she, that she talked about before Friday, how she was going to be putting him out. And he had to get out of her house. Just to find out today, y'all, they outside <laughs> doing exercises together. That lady not even her husband. At this point, her and Woody, they on reality TV show. We here for the entertainment. Nothing is real. It's all fiction. It's all made up. At this point, for everybody... So don't get yourself stressed out. I know everybody want to get this lady love and compassion. I was one of them people supporting her. But at this point, I think it's made up for views. I think rent is due. I'm starting to believe everybody else believe rent is due. The girl need views to pay for their lifestyle, for that lady and them seven kids and all them daycares. And the girl need views. So therefore, she making up these freshman stories. But I'm going to drop the videos after this to show y'all how when she was talking about how she's going to be leaving him. I'm going to give y'all the update today when I saw them out doing exercises. The shit is hilarious to me, but I'm here for it. It's entertainment. Then they own reality TV show. The lady divorced her husband. <laughs> they need to get on somebody's TV show. They deserve a TV show because they so made up, so friction. At this point, it's a reality TV show, y'all. Are we here for it? We just here for entertainment. Don't take that ass serious, her or what at this point. Don't take them serious. They're just trying to get that bag to keep feeding them seven kids and living that lifestyle. And we here for it. Nothing more, nothing less. It's our entertainment. This show our girl Drew with the T. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I'm going to keep y'all updated on the latest update on the series. And keep eating with y'all and giving y'all good advice. That's what I'm here for. To have fun with y'all. Hit that subscribe button. Until next time, y'all be safe out there. Expensive that it did not much for me my life is expensive i have seven children i'm paying for soccer i'm paying for swimming lessons i pay over five thousand dollars just in child care fees a couple thousand couldn't even handle those little things and then we have the essential bills as well let's not forget about the car insurance i just had to pay three thousand dollars to get because of you and they wouldn't let me not get car insurance without you because in the state of florida we're married and they know that we're married so yeah it's like um i'm done what i am done i know that i'm not crazy y'all can comment down below am i being dramatic or if y'all understand and comprehend i'm like i don't know if my husband really can't comprehend it while i feel the way i feel or if he's doing it purposely but either way it no longer matters. Baby, you come to Tampa. Go move back in your mama house with your sister, Dre, and her kids. With your brother, Dante, who used to touch on Dre when she was a kid. Uh huh. And then your brother, Meek, and your nephew move coming to Tampa. That Wood won't stop gambling. That Wood won't stop dealing with his family. That's his family. That Wood won't stop dealing with my family and literally sit on the phone and hear my grandma disrespect me and my children. <sighs> I'm not upset with him for that. I'm not saying you can't choose that. You have a choice. But just like you have a choice, I have a choice to be like, okay, that's cool. You do that. But now you get the fuck out of my life. Get the fuck out of my life. What do I need you for? Now, when I said I ain't leaving, I ain't going nowhere. You can't get mad at me. I can get mad at you. But I don't even got to get mad at you. All I want you to do is this is what you choose. This is the side you're picking. This is the life that you're picking. Go over there and leave me over here. I need you for nothing. My children go to daycare. 
I can afford a nanny. I have the maids right now at home cleaning up. I don't need you to clean my house. My house is getting clean. I need you for nothing. I don't feel loved. I don't feel uh, protected. You don't defend me. Yes, you gave me some money. You gave me a couple thousand, but my life is so expensive that it did not much for me. My life is expensive. I have seven children. I'm paying for socks. Come on. Come on. I'll run with you. All right, come on. Come on. You can jump. <laughs> come on. Come on. Come on. This is the last one. Come on. Come on.